All right. So how y'all doing? Is uh, my name is Khalif White, and we're doing you know Sex Gumbo, the sex documentary. The, uh, the first topic we're going to examine is love, and basically, you know, uh, could you define love for me? Could somebody define love and somebody define sex? There's so many different kinds of love, and I mean, if you think about it, all, I don't know all of them, because I didn't study any of that, and I'm kind of just getting this all off internet knowledge, but, you know, in terms of love, like, the Greeks had so many different terms for that, because there's so many different types of love, and you just can't really put one single definition on it. It's just kind of, if I had to say it was one anything, I would definitely say that it's just a great positive fear. I just can't think of a possible love that comes negative because I, then I think it's just the equal and opposite of love, which is hate. And, you know, hate is just as good as love. I mean, they're the same thing. It's just difference on the spectrum. And so I think love is just a great, incredible, positive thing. Mm. So that's what they say, I guess, when there's a thin line between love and hate, you know, that, that great emotion can always turn to the... To the, to, I guess to the negative or the arch enemy I guess with knowledge comes you know you know like the arch you know like so. what about sex how would you define sex it's, it's much more simple but I mean, much more simple I guess uh, I mean the the biological I guess definition would be really easy and common but I, I interpret sex as more of just uh, another bond or connection as love would be uh, it's it's just another connection you can make with someone but it's more physical also more sublime. It's an emotional thing. It's just a, uh, it's a sharing. It's, it's a feeling. It's, it's an agreement between two people, I think. Well, right, that's cool. So I guess, like, what are the similarities between the two and what are the, the differences, I guess, uh, from, or, I mean, it's a lot of, I don't know, I guess, I mean, alright, I guess maybe we'll say, like, when you, what comes first, sex or love, or can it be shared in the same space, or is it like the two opposite? I think people try really hard to disconnect the two, but uh, personally, I think uh, they're they're going to go together. Even if it's not emotional love, uh, it, sex is going to go with some kind of love. Even if you're loving someone's body, or you're loving their heart or their soul, there's that kind of connection. So I think that's the same. Yeah, I agree with her. And I definitely have to add that um, you know, if you were to combine the two, basically her definition of uh, sex and my definitions of love it'd be like you know it's it's the positive contract that you have with another individual whether that's male female you know whatever it's just that positive contract between in that relationship that positive relationship that you have with somebody and it just suck too so i guess yeah. and it can be any <laughs> any level of that relationship it doesn't it have be to be awesome all the way suck. you know if we're talking about the bases or anything like that it doesn't even have to be home base it's it's anything from, you know, just sitting and sharing. It's that intimacy, any kind of intimate conversation. And you're really, you know, it's like that definition, that old word for, you know, sex. When they said, you, like, I've known her, you know. Like, you really, it's when you get to know somebody. It's that intimacy. It's when you get down to this level that's, it, it's a private level. And a lot of people, you know, share it a lot. But it's interesting that, you know, sex could you know, this this knowing people, it goes down to just different levels of, you know, the three of us here right now. I mean, everything leads up from that point. This is the starting point of those connections. So. That's true. So, I guess, have you ever been in love? And, like, can you say a story? Like, I mean, do you remember the time? How did you feel? Um, the first time I saw who would be my first girlfriend, I fell in love uh, in a very, it was a very juvenile, young way, but um, I, I had been waiting for a feeling my whole life, and uh, until I found my first girlfriend, that first time uh, we kissed outside the band bus, it was, it was the most sublime, undescribable feeling, and I don't, it wasn't love at first sight, it wasn't love in a way that was as deep and wise and like, and cultured or old like people characteristic characteristically say love should be but it was it was still love I think and 
I've never felt anything like that before and I don't think I'll feel anything like that again. But I think to me that was the most, the one time I was in love. Yeah. Whatever that is. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, I, th I think I, I think I've been in love once before, and um, it's 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 hard to describe. Like if there's a moment when you know, like when you love somebody, when you know it's love and not just um, not something that's fleeting. Mm. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like there's one defining moment. I just think there's a lot of little moments that build up to being what you feel is this love, and then one day maybe there's enough moments that, you know, it topples over and you realize what you're buried in, and <laughs> I, I, can, I can remember this one moment, I mean, it wasn't really a moment, it was more like a day, but it was just, it, it, it was the, it was probably the most incredible day of my life, I um, came home from the beach after this really bad beach vacation, and I was home alone, for my family, because my family stayed at the beach and they just let me drive home. And I um, called up this particular girl that was special to me, and um, her and I, um, I, I asked her if she wanted to have breakfast uh, the next morning, because I came home on a Thursday and I wanted to ask her out for breakfast on a Friday. So I picked her up, didn't tell her where we were going, and I live in Westchester, Pennsylvania, and um, I just, I decided to drive her all the way up to Philadelphia because it was the only place that I knew that had these smoothies that, well, they used to be there on South Street, Jamba Juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, when we, it, it was a great day in Philadelphia and just having that surprise and I just, there was this, well, I ended up taking her back home to my place. So, <laughs> some really dumb stuff happened in Philadelphia, like, I, I walked her into a potted plant, but that's a long story, <laughs> but, you know, it's just those ridiculous moments when you feel this, such, such a strong connection with somebody else, and I remember when we got back to my house, um, we had, we had never really, we, I mean, we'd kissed on the lips twice before, but we'd never, like, actually kissed, and I remember... I had this whole wall in my bedroom um, next to my bed of all these pictures of just different people in my life and just different moments in my life and right up at the top was a picture of her that she really didn't like but she doesn't like any pictures of herself um, so she tries to go and rip it down and it turns into a little bit of a wrestling match and then <laughs> rolls to the ground and we just started kissing and dead serious we kissed for three straight hours. It Marathon. was, no, I, like, I just remember thinking, like, where the, where did the time go? Like, it just disappeared. And just, you know, like, there was talk about, you know, guys always need more and they want this and that, you know, but guys are only interested in one thing, but I swear I could have been there for another seven hours and done nothing but, you know, done nothing but kiss her and I would have been the happiest man in my life. I mean, it was such a great day. You have this on? You have this on video? Because yeah, I got this on video. That's the last one you're going to find that says that. Yeah. <laughs> just that, kidding. I'm just joshing. No, that's, that's, no, that was, I mean, people, when they hear that story, they're going to be like, it's going to take them back to that time when they had that, that first love. Like, you know, the type of loves that I'm hearing you guys talk about is definitely that initial one, of, like it's almost like you can't never get that back. It's like it's, it's almost like love is ruined, but you gotta kind of find what love. You gotta redefine it because you can never get that initial feeling. But you know, thank you guys for you know sharing with me, sharing with these people, and uh, I'm gonna make you proud. Know when whatever you're doing is done. Oh, uh, absolutely. And then, um, I'm gonna have more. You know, I have more interviews. We uh. We got some topics on virginity, oral sex. It gets more deeper and more complex, but I definitely want to hit the basis of, you know, this sex thing or this relationship thing, and I think, you know, this would be the start. And uh, But I'm going to hit you guys on Facebook.